kicked out. Now that rain is moving out of the area and moving pretty quickly off to the east. So still some heavier rain northern neck middle peninsula, but this too will exit the coast and the clouds will break up a little bit tomorrow with a bit of a northwesterly wind coming into town. It'll actually start from the southwest, come around to the northwest, and as it comes down the mountains, it warms up a little bit. So tomorrow's going to be a much warmer day. Only 44 the high today, and that actually occurred at midnight. We spoke, uh, spent most of the day in the lower 40s. We're at 36, which is the low. A little bit over a half an inch of rain to start off the new year after the third wettest year on record. 36 degrees outside right now. Still a little bit of rain at the airport, although it's more of a mist or light drizzle right now as the rain again continues to shift to the east. So temperatures are in the 30s now, but there's a warm front to the south. And as that comes through overnight, that's going to start to boost our temperatures. They'll be on the rise into the 40s by daybreak, into the 50s at noontime, and low and mid 60s for highs tomorrow afternoon. Look at the upper 60s across parts of southern and southeastern Virginia tomorrow afternoon. So a warm day for your Saturday. And it turns a little chilly again as we finish out this weekend. Normal highs now are in the upper 40s. We're going to kind of hover in the upper 40s, low 50s as we go through the next week. In terms of rain chances, the rain's moving out now, but we got another system behind it on Sunday. Then most of the week will be dry before a couple more showers may come into town next Friday. So the rain is exiting now. Overnight will be mainly cloudy, little chilly, but the clouds will start to break to the west right around daybreak. And then across the entire area, we'll see a little bit of sunshine for tomorrow. Again, temperatures rising into the 60s. Then by Sunday, here comes another system from the south and maybe a few more icing concerns over the higher elevations that we're dealing with that earlier today. Could be a concern with some sleet and freezing rain up that way on Sunday. Otherwise, just very wet here. Another rather chilly day. So we go up tomorrow in terms of temperature back down on Sunday. By noontime Sunday, a lot of it will be tapering off. So the heaviest rain is going to be in the morning. We'll just see some showers in the afternoon and then we'll clear out again as we head into Monday. There may be a little upper level disturbance coming by and triggering a brief shower, but otherwise things will be pretty quiet going into the early part of next week. So the rain tapers off overnight. Rather chilly in the mid 30s, although those temperatures start to rise a little bit during the wee hours of the morning. And that rise continues during the day tomorrow. 59 at lunchtime into low and mid 60s tomorrow afternoon, and we will see a little sunshine too. So greatly improving conditions for tomorrow. There might be an early morning shower on the coast. Otherwise, we are dry. Record high tomorrow 69. I don't think we'll get there, but it's going to be a much warmer day. Another shot at rain on Sunday, mainly during the morning, and then we'll dry out Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday. Nothing more than an isolated sprinkle or shower. Pretty quiet most of the week that's coming up with some showers arriving by next Friday.